I have a, I guess it's like an Endura Pro, but it's not really. It's like a old ass, well, not that old. It's from 90 or 2006. I have a number of these keywords. Uh, I have three of them. They all have various problems. Um, these are Unicomp keyboards. They're, uh, you know, the successor to, to Lexmark. And they are effectively the same as normal Model M's, but uh, they are much more cheaply built. And I'm sitting here just very annoyed that I have to figure out how to get this thing out of here. I've read online, I think there's double-sided tape holding this thing in. God. But in any case, I just thought it was interesting to see. You know, we have the basic, same basic design. We got, we got a... We got the barrel plate, we got the metal back plate behind it, I think, yep. And, um, much cheaper, I guess, connector. Uh, this is the strain relief. <laughs> um, and this thing has a, has a, you know, track point on it. The track point is just terrible. It's really, really bad. Uh, for whatever reason, I can't make it go go at any reasonable speed under Linux. I haven't really tried all that hard, but but it's but I, I'm pretty sure that probably this is an older model and the, the newer model. I'm, I'm almost certain the newer model Endura Pro, although this isn't an Endura Pro. This is some one-off thing. It's got these movement control keycaps. <laughs> strange. They're probably for some special purpose uh, application. Um... But anyway, I have three of them. I, I'm going to try to make one out of the three bad one, one working one out of three bad ones. Um, in any case, good stuff. Yeah, sure enough. I can't see this very well, but uh, inside here, you see we have some double sided tape that is. Attached to both the back plate and the bottom case. And there's another bit of it over here. And it looks like I'm going to need to take a knife. Man, that is just that is brutal. That is, that is, that is terrible. God. <laughs> yeah, it's just double-sided tape. Man, that's brutal. I guess you gotta make money somehow. I mean, and, you know, those guys at Unicomp, I, bless their souls, they don't charge very much money for keyboards, especially ones with this many parts in it. <clears throat> but, wow, double sided tape is a fastener. That is just brutal, dude. Brutal! Oh, God. Horrific. Okay, well, I figured this would be useful to somebody. Didn't know how to get it out. It's really interesting is that this board, I believe, yeah, so this board, this keyboard was serviced by Unicomp in 2008. It was made in 2006. And what's interesting about that is that I'm guessing that they took the the barrel play, you know, they they, you know, did essentially a bolt mod, but <clears throat> they have the equipment to actually melt the rivets back again. But these all look like hand done. What a job! Whoever did that, that's doing God's work. That's just amazing. But I also think it's kind of funny that this control, this is the the controller logic for the for the track point, or the pointing stick, whatever you call it. And it's much, much bigger <laughs> and more complicated than the than the controller for the actual keyboard. This particular one, the keyboard controller appears to be dead. Uh, the mouse controller works just fine. So I'm going to clean this up 
and see if I can swap this thing out. This is going to be a pain in my balls. I can already tell. All right, well, I'll give it a shot. <clears throat> ah, sorry about the audio. My air conditioner kicked in, but um, actually, it's relatively simple. You just there's a plastic clip here holding it on. You pull it out. That's actually a pretty nice design. So I'm going to swap this controller out for another one. I have to bust another one open like a like a macadamia nut and get its controller and replace this one. We'll see what happens. Now uh, before bust another keyboard open I I uh, figured I'd clean the contacts on the membrane and the controller. There's a little flex cable that's been bent over uh, that attaches, well, it doesn't attach, but uses this friction fit to push up against the uh, contacts on the controller. Am I retarded? I can't get this thing out. Uh, oh man, it's just janky. But I mean, so I, you know, I cleaned both the contacts on here and, and the and the membrane. It was just just absolutely filthy. <laughs> that actually didn't didn't help. So you know, I'm going to put another controller in here. You know, bust another keyboard open, put another controller in here. Could still be this this set of contacts. And if it's this set of contacts, then this keyboard's probably not worth repairing because uh, I don't really want to take it apart and do a bolt mod on it because it's really just. It's an ugly ass keyboard too. I mean, it's just ugly as shit. Seriously, look at this thing. Ugly. This must be ABS. All yellowed. Ooh, it's like star, like sparkly patterns. That fucking terrible logo. God, it's just unlovable. Terrible. But so yeah, I probably won't be able to. Won't bother. I just I just noticed another thing here. Look at this. This is the ground strap cable. You know, on old Model M's, this used to just be massive braided thing. Newer ones, you know, is like 26 gauge wire, whatever. This is just it's literally soldered on. There's not even cl a clip. What? You know, seriously, like I understand, you know, you're gonna save money, but are you really saving any money? You gotta solder that on? I mean, somebody's gotta do that. <laughs> and look at this cable, look at the, look at the gauge of the ground cable. It's just, it's like a Pico cable. It's incredible. Well, I cracked another one open, I took out its controller. And you can tell that these membranes are in better shape than these are. These look uh, not as good, so. But interestingly, there's no plastic clip on this thing to hold this controller board in place. It just, it's just total friction fit. And the top case is, I guess, what, what holds it down. I'm, I'm surprised they're different. <laughs> Maybe this just broke off. Doesn't look like it, does it? Looks like it was meant to be that way. This thing has this little plastic clip. Ain't no plastic clip here. Yeah, no go. Got it plugged in and everything, and it doesn't. It no worky. So this thing is just not worth repairing. Maybe I can. The the, the problem with the other one is the mouse. So maybe I can remove. The mouse controller from this one and put in the other one and have a working keyboard. We'll see. As an aside, I just sort of find it fascinating that this company, you know, what used to be Lexmark is now Unicomp. And I think if I sent this to them, they would fix it for like thirty or forty dollars or something like that. Now I'm not gonna do that because it's just not worth it, but I mean that's a lot of work. <laughs> You know, taking this whole, you know, this whole thing off, putting a new membrane in, 
you know, God, it must take hours to do that. I mean, you know, it is Kentucky, but they got to eat too. I don't know how they can do it for so little money. I'm going to have to shear all these rivets off, put a new membrane in, and probably they they just, I don't know what they'd do. Well, I realized actually the symptom of the non-working mouse is that the left of mouse button is not responsive. And uh, I think what that means is that the controller board probably works and probably what I need to do is take this thing off of here, the actual assembly for the mouse or for the buttons and put them in the other case. Ew, 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 ew. How the hell am I going to do that? Crap. <laughs> it's probably just some heart-wrenching, sicken sickening sound where you pull it out. Oh, wait, it just snaps right out. Oh, that was easy. I'll shut up now. Just endlessly weird. Okay, so this thing is ABS. <clears throat> it's printed on here that this case is ABS. General Electric Company. Psycholo. What the hell would General Electric Company... Oh, maybe this is... Maybe this was manufactured for GE. That's probably what it is. And that's just Unicom saying... Maybe not. I have no idea. That is an odd duck. It's an odd... Here's the button assembly from that doesn't work. The left mouse button <clears throat> doesn't work on my keyboard. And I don't really detect anything particularly egregiously wrong with it. I can't imagine. I mean, how could that fail? It's impossible, right? <laughs> but, I mean, it is a little kinked up. <clears throat> but this one is too, so seems so unlikely that that would actually fail. It's just such a simple assembly, but we'll see. Sure enough, that was it. Now the left and right mouse buttons work. <coughs> uh, and the keyboard works. Uh, so I got one working miserable, ugly ass Unicomp to, to work. Um, yeah. I'm just going to put it back together again. I imagine there's some old timer at Unicomp who just dies a little bit inside when he has to take one of these apart. <laughs> this is actually, you know, I, I, I'm of two minds of this because I, 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 I am glad that Unicomp still is in business and everything, but for my money, anyway, uh, I would buy any an old Model M from IBM or Lexmark. Uh, anything between '86 and '92, let's say, any day over buying a, a newer Model M from from Lexmark or or something from Unicomp because, man, you can buy. You know, those old machines are built to last, and these are these are not. Uh, and uh, you know you can buy in any condition <laughs> Model M from from '86 to '92, and you know buy 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 five of them. You know just just like no keys. You know scratched up. Uh, you know has been underwater. <laughs> whatever they'll work. You can make something out of them, and you can make a keyboard that'll last forever. This thing will not last forever. I don't think. <clears throat> so, anyway, I'm sorry, Unicomp. I, I like you. I hope you survive. But you're you're making keyboards that are you're trying to make cheap keyboards, and you're charging too little for them. And maybe maybe it's a matter of tooling or whatever. But you should make more expensive keyboards that are that are better built. Maybe that's impossible these days. I'm, I should shut up. I won't tell you what to do. I'm sure you're fine. Thanks.